Спасибо. Спасибо. Хочу пожелать успехов в будущих выступлениях. Ну, разговоров много, понятно. If you love the content on our channel and wish to see more of it in the future, then all you have to do is hit the red subscribe button right now. Hey there guys, what's up and welcome back to our channel. Khabib Nurmagomedov is the number one pound for pound fighter on the face of the earth. The first person in around 728 days to dethrone John Jones in that number one spot and most likely the only person that really could. Many experts in the MMA world claim that he's the best pound for pound fighter of all time beating the likes of Anderson Silva and George St. Pierre. However, there are some facts that most people don't know about Khabib. Number 10. Sambo Master Sambo is a sport resembling mixed martial arts with less strict rules and a much higher degree of brutality. Khabib has won the International Sambo Championship twice and has the title of Sambo Grand Master. This is a title that's very seldom handed out to people. In its long history, there might be only four to five individuals that earned the title of Sambo Grand Master. The sport is brutal and there's more leniency in terms of weighing ins. Mixed martial arts allows one pound over the weight class, whereas Sambo allows up to three kilograms. There were no weight classes or divisions when Khabib was fighting in Sambo competitions. You're allowed to kick, knee, and punch your opponents. Fighters are also allowed to pull submissions until the other fighter taps or passes out. Khabib has defeated other fighters much larger than himself multiple times, mostly by having them pass or tap out through submissions. He was really good as a Sambo fighter, and his ability there has helped him a ton in his fights in the UFC. Number 9. Wrestled Bears Yep, Khabib as a child often wrestled bears. Bear cubs to be exact. Khabib is from one of the most mountainous regions in Russia, Dagestan. Dagestan is also surrounded by a lot of forests and wildlife, including a lot of bears and snow leopards. As a child, playing with friends and under the supervision of adults, he was videotaped wrestling bears and he wasn't even a teenager at that point. The Dagestan people have been reported to often nurse injured predators back to health before setting them free. Baby Khabib was likely wrestling a baby bear of that category. However, it wouldn't be surprising if Khabib was just throwing down with a random bear that came out of the wild. If you ask me, it seemed more like his pet. In the video, he took the bear down and was on top of it for quite a while before he stood back up and tried to take the bear down again. Only this time, it was Khabib who ended up going down in the second round. Number 8. Floyd Mayweather asked for $600 million to fight him. There are multiple reports of the undefeated boxing welterweight champion calling Khabib out, but when asked how much it would take for him to fight Khabib, Mayweather said $300 million. In another report, he said $600 million. That's an absurd amount to give to a single athlete, even for boxing standards, where such absurd amounts of prize money are considered normal. Mayweather got $275 million for his fight with McGregor. That's why they call him Floyd Money Mayweather. When Khabib was asked about this during a press conference, he replied with, who gonna give him this money? And the reporter said, not me. Khabib replied with a wry smile and a cheeky, not me too. $100 million for what? Fight with me? Fight you. Who gonna give him this money? Not me. Not me too. If the fight is scheduled in an octagon, Floyd can expect his first ever loss. Vice versa if the match is in a boxing ring. Number 7. Lost a Sambo match. Yes indeedy, Khabib Nurmagomedov isn't undefeated. Like all the other greats, he has experienced a loss. Although he never lost after that. To be fair to Khabib, however, it was his first final in a Sambo competition and he was only 17 years old at the time. He lost the match to Magomed Ibrahimov in 2003. Magomed Ibrahimov had won medals in the Olympics and the Asian Games, but despite this, 
Khabib was able to take him down and trade his defeat for Ibrahimov, that too for an extended period. It was a phenomenal performance for a 17-year-old kid holding his own against a much stronger, larger and more accomplished man. Number 6 lost an MMA fight. Many people believe that Khabib lost his fight against Glayson Tabau in July 2012. He couldn't take Tabau down, not even once. On top of that, he barely landed any strikes, no punches or kicks. He was trying and failing repeatedly for a takedown and swinging wildly, but he rarely made any contact. Tabau was the much slicker striker and landed much more and much cleaner shots. Joe Rogan and the other commentators thought he lost the match, Khabib thought he lost the match, and so did everyone else. Until the decision was announced and Khabib broke down in tears. Number 5. Ronaldo and him are friends Yep, Cristiano Ronaldo and Khabib Nurmagomedov are good friends in real life. Khabib had always been inspired by Ronaldo's humility, Ronaldo's desire to help others, and his perseverance and drive. They've met a couple of times, and their sons have played together on an occasion. During Ronaldo's Instagram live session, when someone asked him about Khabib, he wished Khabib good luck and wrote, Khabib, I know you're gonna win. It's also nice seeing Ronaldo supporting his friend through such a difficult period in Khabib's life, especially after the latter lost his father to COVID-19 in May 2020. Salam alaikum. Number 4. He's out-wrestled Daniel Cormier Daniel Cormier, the former WEC undisputed light heavyweight champion and former undisputed UFC heavyweight and light heavyweight champion, has wrestled with Khabib. Khabib is almost 100 pounds lighter than Daniel Cormier and yet he was able to outgripple him multiple times, taking him down and ending up on top of DC. Daniel has destroyed fighters the likes of current heavyweight champion Stipe, future Hall of Famers in Anderson Silva, Dan Henderson, and strong strikers like Derek Lewis with his wrestling, slamming them down after picking them up with ease. But Khabib was able to manhandle him with barely any effort. Number 3. He might become a coach now. As he is now retired, there are high chances of him looking to fill in the role of his father as coach and mentor for the young boys in his village looking to become fighters in the future. He may also offer his input to his gym, American Kickboxing Academy. He's already been cornering his teammates in fights such as Zabera Tuhugov and Islam Makachev. Perhaps he transfers to working more closely with the teammates, especially those from his village. Number 2. He fought Justin Gaethje with an injury. In his last ever match, before a highly emotional and shocking retirement by Khabib due to the death of his father Abdulmanaf Nurmagomedov, it was revealed after Justin Gaethje passed out and the fight was over that Khabib had injured his foot a few days before the day of the fight. He was coming into the fight both emotionally and physically wounded. He made no excuses, however, and fought a hungry Justin Gaethje and managed to overcome his last hurdle. And still undefeated and the UFC undisputed. Number 1. Vladimir Putin has asked to meet him. After making Conor McGregor tap out on UFC 229 through a rare naked choke, and after he was cleared of all charges in the United States as he returned to Russia, he was invited by President Vladimir Putin himself to the Grand Kremlin place, aka the Russian White House, to have dinner with him. A certain portion of that meeting, which was attended by Khabib and his late father, was televised. They discussed McGregor as an opponent and different chokes. His interest in MMA on part of Mr. Putin could be because he himself is a former KGB agent. What were some of your best moments about Khabib's career? 
let us know in the comments down below and also hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to catch up on more awesome videos like this in the future. Until next time guys, take care and adios.